Des panneaux, construction et église, c'est Montréal ici, oui. Ben oui. C'est tout Montréal. Tout Montréal. <rire> What is up? Welcome back to Montreal. Today we are in a neighborhood called Ochelaga Maison Neuf. Let me know if my pronunciation is way off. <laughs> Just be nice about it, okay? I'm trying my best. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool neighborhood in the east side of Montreal. I've only walked through here a couple times, but uh, we're gonna be learning all about it today. In fact, I just started outside of a metro station called, uh, I'll check this dude out. What's the deal with those one wheels? I see those everywhere. It makes me feel like I'm in the future or something. Anyway, yeah, I just got outside of the metro station Prefontaine. There's a cool little park over there, some skateboarders, some construction, of course. And we even had uh, this weird pink looking bench Maybe a sign of things to come because there's some interesting stuff going on in this neighborhood. I can already tell. Pierre, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good. How are you doing today? Good, good. Ready to visit my neighborhood? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's good. do it. All right. So, Pierre, I saw you just left your bike back there on the street. Yeah. Is Orchelaga the kind of neighborhood where like you worry about that kind of thing, you feel safe here. What's the vibe uh, like in honest, this part of Montreal? I don't know, honestly, like a lot of people say it's kind of not dangerous, but you know, that's not the safest place I would say. Uh huh. But still, I don't know, I didn't have any any issues so far. I've been living here for a year. Yeah. And so far so good, so. And you originally moved to Canada from France, right? Yeah, yeah, like 11 years ago, I think. Yeah. yeah. You're the only French person who's ever done that in Montreal, right? <laughs> right, yeah. I'm the first one. But I'm probably one of the first because back then it wasn't that big of a thing. You 11 know? years ago. Yeah. You I mean, started it. Was, it. We yeah. found it. He started it. No. <laughs> In the construction now, yeah, man. This wow. is... <laughs> Anywhere you go, man. The weather is nice and the construction has started. We got <laughs> some, summer vibes today. Summer vibes in Montreal. Yeah, that's a nice house. Yeah. Nice. Now, so this is like the west end of Ochelaga, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I think the west part is more like Ochlaga yeah. and the, the east part is uh, Maison Neuve. And how's my pronunciation? Ochlaga Maison Neuve. Ochlaga. Ochlaga. Yeah, you can speak I know Ochlaga, Ochlaga. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you don't have to pronounce it in Maison Neuve. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. By the end of the video, I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> We just found a cool looking dip on there. Check this out. We got beer, craft beer. And we got Korean ramen as well. Yeah. And bubble tea. This is the spot. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if I need a beer just yet, but we're gonna go check it out. It looks interesting. This is bread. Oh my god. This is two point five two. That's probably the jumbo pot, right? Fifteen. Uh, That's a lot of candy, 2.5 kilos, you know. <laughs> What do you think? 15 bucks? Not bad. So you just take a pad uh -huh. with this guy uh, and bring it to you. And bring it, yep, yeah, bring ah, it to me. Super. Okay. Right. This is an intense day, but no, I didn't know what I was getting into. Okay, okay. What do you guys think? I'm going for this. I like these guys, 136. Those little blue sharks. It's good. Pierre, choose one, man. I'm, I'm in over my head right now. What should I do? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Too what many choices. I, I like the um, 
sour one. So, uh, oh, I, I, I honestly, I just like that's my my this favorite one? one. Yeah, like it's like Coke. Coke. Yeah, it's fifty fifty eight. Fifty eight, it is. Yeah. YouTube, what should I choose? Come on, guys, <laughs> help me out here. <laughs> uh, How many choices do we have? Three. Yeah, three. Okay, the eggs, the eggs. Yeah, the eggs look cool. All what twenty one right. it is. They packed this so much, I had to eat some just to close this thing. <laughs> it was like under four bucks, not a pretty good deal. So Pierre, I got a quick question for you. Yeah. What was your biggest surprise when you moved from France to Montreal? My biggest surprise, it's kind of obvious, but you know, as a French, speaking person when you arrive here you you think that it's going to be the same it's going to be like france but it's a totally different culture so you have to adapt it's not because you speak the same language that you are like you have the same culture basically yeah but i think that's what like that's what most french people struggle with here yeah the difference is yeah, yeah 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 because you know yeah just because we speak the same language we assume that we are from the same place but we're not you know this place i recognize i've actually only been to ochelaga like one or two times i've walked by here but i went to that he doesn't want to be filmed <laughs> did you guys see that he didn't he gave me one of those anyway i've been to this place once or twice it got really good tacos yeah it kind of looks like they're they better not be closed you want to check it out yeah yeah let's do it let's go but, but is it closed like Forever? Or no? Oh no no! Okay. This is heartbreaking. This place has the best tacos. I gotta make sure it's not out of business or something. What's going on? Qué pasa? I mean, there's a sad face. What does that mean? Pierre, bro, what happened? What happened? I don't know, man. Anyway, guys, last summer I had some really good tacos at that spot. So anyone who lives around here, let me know what's going on. And if it's not closed, if it's not closed for good, fingers crossed. You guys should uh, check it out sometime. What's Bobo? It's just to encourage local uh, business. You know? Okay. They, they ask you to buy local stuff. Pad the Bobo. Does it mean like no hipster? Yeah, kind what? of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place is a nice bakery. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. You got sandwiches and stuff? Yeah, yeah, you could get some I could, here. I could be it's down for nice. that. Is it Bobo? But is it Bobo? No, it's not. It's not, it's not Bobo. <laughs> We're safe. We're safe. Hey guys, just a quick interruption. Um, I know there's been lots of people supporting my Montreal videos recently. They've been getting a lot of views, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of good vibes. Makes me really happy since I just moved here recently and I'm, I'm loving the community we're building. Uh, for some people who are new here, uh, you might not really know how YouTube works. Um, a lot of channels will like have advertisements from companies like Squarespace and whatever, whoever wants to advertise a YouTube video. I don't do that that much because number one, I'm not a big YouTuber like that. And number two, because, well, I just don't like selling things. I don't think we need possessions to make our life better. I think it's about experiences, and uh, that's the message I try to share with people, uh, which is a bit contradictory if I'm always selling, like, <laughs> products every second video. So if you like the videos I make, if you enjoy this, uh, there's a couple different ways you could support. You could head on over to Patreon for as little as $1 a month. You can join a community of people like this who have decided to support this video project that I'm doing around Montreal and around the world. And finally, you could just subscribe, click the bell button so you see more videos, tell a friend. Making these YouTube videos is literally my dream job. I'm trying to make this thing work, so thank you to everyone who's helping me make that possible. Back to the video. Uh, no, La Lancette. What's the name of this one? La Lancette? Park yeah. La Lancette. Park La Lancette. All right, guys, so we are sitting here in a park. You know, I got, I just got a sandwich 
It's a chicken and cashew sandwich. And I also got a drink. I'm afraid it might be a bit bobo. I don't know if this is <laughs> I don't know if this is bobo that, or not. That chewy? Meh. It's like a kind of fancy uh, lemon oh, tonic drink. But you know why I got it? Because it's made in Montreal. So it's still a local drink. Bobo local. behind me this is Olympic Stadium built I guess it was the 1970s early 70s when Montreal hosted the Olympics definitely one of the prominent buildings in the skyline since Montreal itself is not that tall of a city other than downtown of course but you can see this thing from miles and miles and miles away or kilometers I guess I should say but uh, yeah definitely a huge tower in fact, fun fact about this, it is one of the tallest slanted towers in the world. Definitely the tallest in Canada. It's a little trivia fact for you. I'm gonna guess those are all the countries that played in the Olympics. That's nice. Look at those girls with the skateboards just casually walking by the stadium. Looking so much cooler than I did at that age. Actually, so much cooler than I look today, too, but... Okay, how do we, uh, okay. Okay. Parkour, parkour! Parkour! <laughs> Good use of space. I really like that they put a skate park here. I feel like they're kind of expanding the neighborhood in a way that... It's cool for people who enjoy like doing sports, you know? Like you have the park also, like there are a lot of people like biking, running, cool. It's expanding in a nice direction, I feel. You know, at the beginning of this video, I was, I was asking Pierre, you know, do you feel safe just leaving your bike here on the street? Because I think, you know, whether he admits it or not, Orchelaga has a bit of a reputation of being, you know, could have been more dangerous than other areas. It could have had some negative activity, crime and stuff like that. But from what I've seen today, I mean, we've had zero problems. I would not hesitate to recommend someone to, to visit here if they're visiting Montreal. I think there's a lot to see. And I think uh, there's good vibes everywhere. I mean, it helps that it's one of the first really nice days of the year, but there's good vibes everywhere. Speaking of good vibes, here it is, Nomad Block. My buddy Pierre is really into rock climbing, bouldering as he calls it. That's the bouldering station, Nomad Block. Cool little spot. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna go in there because from what I understand, it's actually like by reservation. You can, yeah. you can see how busy it is. So if someone, wa if someone sees this video and wants to go, what do they do? They reserve it online or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. You go on the website and yeah. you can buy uh, either like a monthly pass or just a day pass. That's cool. Oh, nice, nice. I could do that. I just don't want to. No. Nice one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been a lot of fun for me checking out this neighborhood with Pierre. I, I made a video just last week asking if any Montrealers wanted to show me their neighborhoods. I got an incredible response. I got a bunch of people reach out to me. Pierre was one of the first, so big shout out to Pierre. My Thank pleasure. you, man. It was a lot My of fun. Pleasure. Hope you liked it. And if people people want, you're also a traveler. You're also a photographer. Yeah, yeah. I traveled a lot before. If people want to see what you're up to, where should they go? Uh, my Instagram, I guess. Pierre Babin on Instagram. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of photos from my past trips. Any final words to someone who wants to visit Montreal? Any advice to someone? Oh my God. Any man. thoughts on this city that you call home? 
I don't know. It's just like such an easygoing city, you know. Just just come here and enjoy the vibe, you know. It's all about the vibe here. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. More videos from Montreal coming soon. As always, I'm Dan from the New Travel. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey. Oh <laughs> You gonna climb that? You're up next. <laughs>